Hi, this is Rayanne with WSU Extension Food Sense. Our science topic today is H2O, water. Specifically, drink water. Water is a naturally occurring compound in living things, including our body. So let's take a look at why water is a smart choice for you and for me, and how we can drink more. We want our bodies to perform at their best. It's important to remember that a healthy diet is not just about what we eat, but also about what we choose to drink. That is why I choose low fat milk, 100% fruit or vegetable juice, and water, my favorite when I'm thirsty. We call these beverages go beverages, and these are the ones that we should choose most often. Now I'm trying to drink more water. I feel better when I drink water throughout my day. Mostly I drink tap water. Spokane County has some of the best tasting um, tap water, but sometimes I like a little variety. And I make flavored water. This is water that I um, flavored with lemon, cucumber, and mint leaves. And let set overnight. Mmm, refreshing. I'm going to show you how simple it is to make your own flavored water. It's about combinations and think of it as a science experiment. This science experiment, you get a taste. So what do you need to make your own flavored water? I have this container that holds the um, fruits and vegetables in it. But if you don't have a container like that, a container, a two quart container like this will work just great. So as I said, I had lemon slices in this, um, cucumber slices, and some mint leaves. You could use some lime slices too. I'm going to show you today how to make orange, strawberry, pineapple water. So what you'll need is some orange slices and I, sli I, I um, cut these in half and, and before you start, be sure and wash your hands and I have already washed my hands. Um, but anyway, cut up your um, orange slices. I cut mine in half. You'll need some berries. They can be fresh berries, but right now frozen berries are what I'm choosing to use. They work great for flavored water and they're really affordable. And I have some pineapple, um, sliced pineapple, and we're gonna have the pineapple for dinner, but I'm just, so I'm gonna use a little splash of the juice. It's 100% juice, um, which means it has no added sugar. Um, and, and then, but you could use the pineapples if you wanted to. So I'm gonna use four slices, one, two, three, four, about eight strawberries, two, four, six, eight, and watch, just a splash of pineapple juice. Fill this up with water, let it set overnight to pick up all the flavors, and voila, strawberry, orange, pineapple water. Delicious. I think you would really like this one. You should try this one. And this is also delicious too. But come up with your own combinations. So that's how you can make, add some flavor to your water. And we have an activity sheet on the, that included to give you some ideas. Couple more minutes on Go Beverages.
I want to talk about. Go beverages are those that provide our body with the nutrients. Low fat milk provides minerals for strong bones and teeth. The other options are lactose free or um, lactose free versions or milk substitutes. Be sure those are fortified with the minerals. 100% juice. 100% juice provides vitamins for a healthy immune system. Now with with juices, be sure not to consume in smaller quantity amounts. Um, the calories can add up in these. So it's always better to eat the whole fruit or vegetable. And water is a go beverage. Water should always be our beverage of choice when we're thirsty. Our bodies are made up of water, so our bodies need water. It's calorie-free calorie -free and inexpensive. So you too can feel, be, feel better and be sure that the beverages that you choose count. I wanna encourage you to check out our Facebook page for more healthy food and activity ideas. And that's on WSU Food Sense, Spokane County Extension. Thank you for watching and until next time, stay healthy.